Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another Patreon-sponsored Blind Reaction. And this one comes to you courtesy of Iota1, who has requested that I react to four Board James videos from Cinemasker. We've got Mousetrap, Fireball Island, Hero Quest, and Tornado Rex. And how this worked is that the patron actually only specifically requested the Fireball Island one. Everything else was kind of left up for me to decide. I was instructed basically to just pick videos from the playlist that most interested me and have those fill out the request because obviously just the one video on its own would have been way too short. And uh, yeah, the patron wanted more. So I was willing to comply with that and I picked the other videos kind of based on nostalgia because... Uh, I never had Fireball Island. I don't remember that one. I don't. I don't think we, um, don't think we had that game. We had a lot of games growing up, me and my siblings, because we we like board games and played them all the time. Uh, <laughs> they were pretty big in the '90s. So um, yeah, we had Hero Quest and Tornado Rex and Mousetrap. The Mousetrap, I'll be up from that one. I just picked kind of because it was really short and kind of fit into the reaction. Uh, and. Yeah, it's also the first one in the playlist, so I figure it's a good starting point. But, uh, yeah, Hero Quest and Tornado Rex were games that I had particular memories of. Uh, even though Hero Quest, I don't think we played it all that much. I, uh, I think maybe we were a bit too young when we got it, and I don't think my parents were all that into it either. It was like this kind of D&D inspired thing, so, uh, maybe a bit too complex. But I remember it on the shelf, and I remember, like, taking it down and looking at it, and it had a lot of, a lot of cool, like, things in it like cards and stuff and uh just it was kind of an interesting and different sort of thing and uh because of that i'm kind of intrigued to look back at it again and see what exactly it was because i don't think we have, have it anymore um and then tornado rex <laughs> that one i have a bit more memories of actually playing it uh, that was like a completely different sort of game that was like this big uh i mean it was for younger audience definitely for yeah, it was like this big mountain thing. The board was like a mountain uh, with like actual depth to it. And um, you had this little spinner thing, uh, the tornado, Tornado Rex. And uh, you pushed a button on top of it and it sent the tornado guy spinning down the mountain. And it was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty cool and enjoyed playing with it as a kid. So I'm kind of interested to look back at that as well. And... Uh, yeah, should be interesting. And again, Mousetrap, of course I have memories of that too. That's much more a standard game that I think a lot of people experienced. I think, yeah, most people have some memory of Mousetrap. Um, so that should be cool as well. Anyway, not much more to say, though I'm excited to see uh, James's take on all these games. I mean, he has an interesting take on just about everything. So <laughs> let's see him talk about board games. Here we go. Game review. Did you ever play Mousetrap? Mm -hmm. I can't say I really did. Oh. I played with it, but I don't think I ever really sat down and played I the mean... actual game. How could you? Look at all this stuff. All you want to do is set <laughs> That's up kind a of fair. I think I actually did play the game though. Giving a kid a game like this was like giving a madman a loaded gun and a pile of crack. <laughs> shit. Who's this guy? Ooh. We all know the trap steals the show. But let me take a moment to explain how to play. Each player is a colored mouse. You roll the die and move around the board, hoping to get as much cheese as possible. Mm -hmm. Watch out for the fat cat, you'll go back. Essentially, it's just a mindless race to the end, with the luck of the die controlling the whole outcome. Yeah. Along the way, you slowly build pieces of the trap. You land on a number, and you add another piece until the trap's complete. But no kid wanted to go through that effort. You just want to see some action. It's like, hey, you want to play mouse trap? Yeah, let me set up that trap. So let's put this together. I haven't done this in years. How's this thing go? Let's look at the instructions. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, kind of complicated. Damn, but what a project. Takes it's all me back. about turning this crank to make a stop sign hit a shoe that kicks a mm -hmm. bucket. Damn it, kick the bucket. Oh, shit. Wow. Here I am as an adult trying to figure out a toy that's intended for a <laughs> When you get to the end, you just keep going around a loop until someone lands on the cheese wheel. But at the same time, someone has to land on the crank space. The chance of that happening is like waiting for a solar eclipse. But once it happens, it's time for the trap. Here we go. Oh 
Oh yeah, it's just as Satisfying. cool as it ever was. Every time you see that, you just want to see it again. <laughs> I'm a grown man, and that's still fascinating. Who wants to play the game? Just crank that shit. None of it's necessary. Why is there a guy standing on a seesaw waiting for a ball to I, drop? Why is there I don't a know. bathtub in the air sitting on a tower of pipes? What kind of situation is this? It would be simpler just to drop the trap or mm. just land on the space and win. That's what most games were like, and that's why Mousetrap is so rad. 2009 10 years ago fireball island or wait maybe i did have this game i just i didn't remember wow. the name holy crap that looks familiar let this me see this is a board game that's anything but boring this marks some kind of revolution I don't know. in games in which the outcome of the dice didn't know. matter so much as whether or not you get no, killed I... by a rolling fireball. Oh, oh! Maybe I just remember that. Instead of a flat board with blank spaces, Fireball Island was upraised and painted to create a treasure. Yeah, I don't think we actually had it. Look at all the detail going on here. There's skeletons laying on the shore. Just I remember to what the box looks like of the past explorers. This is the place of your nightmares. In the middle of it all, the fire I probably island wanted it. <laughs> car, the most fearsome centerpiece to any board game I ever saw. It goes well with all your action figures. Couldn't you see this thing sitting next to Castle Grayskull or teaming up with the Inhumanoids? I love the picture on the back of the box. Isn't that how the game should be played on a beach like that? That's awesome. It sure gets an A plus for presentation. Does That's look cool. Just the beginning. Your imagination takes over the rest. The goal is to get the Firestone Jewel, which unfortunately is sitting right next to Volcar. The adventure starts at Dead Man's Plateau and across the Witchlord Trail. Whenever you roll a 1, it's fireball time. Get hit by one of these, you lose a turn and end up at the nearest smolder pit. And yep, you're supposed to lay the piece on its side. That's important. You can take your chances with the caves, some might lead to a shortcut, and others, not. Past the Witchlord Ruin, get the Magic Charm token, trade in for a full hand of cards, get past huh? Thunder Alley, Skeleton Head Beach, Blister Run, Fire Flash Shoot, steal the jewel, and then it's a race back to the boat with every player trying to take the jewel from each other. You go over the bridge, down Viper Pass, then you make it back to the dock where you face your final and toughest pitfall of all, getting on the boat. Why is it so small? Um. If you can get your hands on this game, gather some friends and give it a try. It's not easy to find the complete game intact. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. I don't so. have all the pieces. It's... Here, one of the bridges is missing. And I think it's a law of nature that any game that has balls flying around, the balls will get lost. Mm -hmm. So I borrowed these from Weapons and Warriors. It doesn't matter. Use some marbles or whatever you can find. Fireball Island, a game anybody can play as long as you've got some balls. Huh? Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it had a lot of like cool little right, things. Let's pick out a game. What do you want to play? Well, I got a lot of games back here. Yep. Um, do you want, do you want to play bed bugs? Bed bugs. <laughs> nah. Uh, uh, oh, Hero Quest, dude. Let's play this. Yeah. I haven't played this in a long time. I'm gonna have to read up on the instructions a little bit. Look at all this crap. <laughs> what is this? A uh, or a cabinet or something, a table, monsters. Yeah, all the furniture and the, the fireplace. Look at all this shit. Four I had a lot of cool stuff, and like the little miniatures. My mentor, the good and ancient sage, to do battle with darkness. Theirs is the ultimate heroic challenge: descend into the treacherous world of the unknown and restore honor to the empire. Destroy the evil forces of chaos. All right, who do I get to be? Well, you can be the barbarian, the wizard, the elf, or the dwarf. Well, what is the difference between them? Oh, well, the barbarian's the strongest, but the wizard and the elf, they have magic spells, and the dwarf can disarm traps. Well, I don't fucking care. Just give me the fucking wizard. All right, then. Here's your hero card. Body? Mind? What is all this? Wait, hang on a minute. I think you could be more than one hero because you're the only one playing. Huh. Well, then who are you going to be? 
Oh, I'm Zarga, the evil sorcerer that controls all the no. monsters. Uh, the game master. I want to be Zargon. All right, then. Here's the manual. You'll have to read up on all the rules. Here's all your monsters. <laughs> I think this is <laughs> showing me why we didn't actually play this very much. Zombies and orcs and stuff. Here's your quest book. This will tell you where all the pieces go, like how to set up the game and everything. And here's your information screen. This will help you keep track of all the hit points all right, and all, all the right, different all right. monsters. All right, fuck, all right, fuck this. Just give me back the uh, wizard. I don't want right. to do all that. There you go. <laughs> you really pick one Can't even be bothered. No, I just want to be the wizard. It's going to be kind of unfair if you're just the wizard. And really? I'm, all right. I got all these monsters. All right, all right, all right. Um, I'll be the barbarian, too, I guess. All right, well, here's your character sheets and keep track of all the body points and everything. All right, now the game goes like this: On your turn, you can move each of your heroes once and perform wow. an action. For example, I mean, this is... you can attack a monster if you're close enough. You roll the dice. Each skull rolled equals a hit. Oh, no, no, oh, no, this is hell! This is hell! Then the defending monster hell. rolls, and each black shield blocks one hit. Whoosh, whoosh. Another thing you can do is search for traps, secret doors, or treasures. And if there's one in the room, I'll reveal it. And as you move into different rooms, I'll set up those rooms as they become visible. <laughs> Go through! I can't... Oh! Alright! Kind of a nice demonstration of the problems with this game. Hey, stop that! I'm trying to set up the game! Well, hurry up! Okay, we're all ready. So here's quest number one, the trial. You must first enter the catacombs, which contain Felmard's tomb. You must seek out and destroy Barra, the foul gargoyle who hides in the catacombs. This is your first step on the road to becoming true heroes. Here you go. Make your move. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I don't feel like playing this anymore. Wow. Uh, can we do something different? Takes me back. You should really pick one more character besides just the wizard. <laughs> Sorry. You really should pick one more character besides just the wizard. You know, so you have somebody to fight with me against. <laughs> you should really pick one more character. These outtakes. <laughs> Poor James. Tornado Rex. It's Tornado Rex! Wow, race to the top, but beware of Tornado Rex. Mm -hmm. T-Rex! Wow, wow. It's a high winds and high excitement. You know, this would be better, though, if we had somebody to play it with. Mm. Yeah, let's get somebody else. Hey, guys, can I play? Bad Luck Bootsy? Aw, oh, Bad Luck Bootsy? You had to He's an it. asshole. He's a duty head. That dude, like, <laughs> fucked a frog one time. He's a fuck face. He's an idiot. He sucks his own dick. Oh, come on! Ugh. Oh. Bootsy. You know that one time I almost had that Rubik's Cube solved till you came along and fucked it up. Okay. It was a mistake. I'm a boob sometimes. What can I say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can play Honestly. the game, but wait, hey, hey, hey. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful with that thing. Look. Hey, 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 I got it. Look. What are you doing? This is how it works. With Tornado Rex, you put the tornado mm -hmm. on the mountain, do it three times. Any more than three times is way too much because this thing will go <laughs> flying and it'll kill somebody you'll poke your eye out and die you got that i you got it you only yeah, i definitely want times. that thing more than three. three one to who three let's play this game guys i'll be red i'll be yellow here's what you do you take your hikers you got two hikers each you got to go from the start to the finish that's pretty easy right from start to the finish without getting hit by the tornado. This is not a game that uses dice for some reason. It uses cards. Where's the cards? Hmm. No dice. And if you draw a Tornado Rex card... Okay. I can't remember those. Oh, Tornado Rex. Oh, Tornado Rex. Oh, Here we go. No! Oh! oh. Hey, it's my turn to do game. this, right? Hey, yeah. I trust you. Three wines. Three wines. Ready? Yeah. Count them. One, two... Fuck you! Oh. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. <gasps> <laughs> wow! 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 Tornado Rex, ready for the ride. Tornado Rex, you got me at a high. When the devil calls your name, you must abide.
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just a second ago, I saw you moving pieces around. Oh, wow. I didn't fucking move shit, yeah, motherfucker. You, yeah, you did. I saw you with the cards, you sneaking the cards up your sleeves. I did not fucking put anything up my sleeve. I saw you put something up your ass, though. You were blowing all the pieces. I saw you doing that. I saw you blowing a goat last night. You know, I'm okay. Your fucking shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. We go. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I mean, kind of. It, 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 the first two were like reviews, like with a voiceover from James, and then the <laughs> the second two were just sort of a demonstration of how the gameplay would typically go, <laughs> and it seemed to match up pretty well with uh, what I remember. I mean, Hero Quest. I think we played it once. Decided that was enough. And uh, after that, we mostly just took it down to look at the miniatures and uh, use them for other things, I believe. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just mostly remember the look of the pieces and everything and not so much actually playing it. And then, similarly with uh, <laughs> Tornado Rex, we uh, mostly just played with the spinning thing and... Uh, I mean, we I, we actually did play that game a little bit, but we it mostly just came down to excitement over spinning the damn top down the mountain, and uh, <laughs> that was the real thrill of everything. Um, and yeah, Mousetrap, I can definitely... <laughs> I mean, I know we did actually play it too, but I, I guess it mostly did come down to building the trap and uh, the fun of that. That was, I guess... <laughs> much more relevant uh honestly the only one of these that actually looked like it was it, it's more of the fun comes from the game than simply um <laughs> than simply the stuff that it comes with is uh the fireball island the one that i haven't played that one uh which i do have some weird memory but it definitely looks familiar to me but um yeah, that actually looks like a kind of cool game and uh I mean, it has lots of cool pieces, too, that uh, I would probably just... <laughs> but it, it, just shooting balls, that's not, like, as exciting as the Tornado Guy. So uh, that one, it's more, like, um, just an aspect of the game as opposed to something that kind of takes over. So uh, <laughs> you know, that's kind of interesting to see. That's one that I think maybe got it right a bit more. Um, I don't know though, but <laughs> it's kind of fun. This is definitely a big blast of nostalgia from James and uh, some good videos, and uh, definitely, definitely enjoyed. And uh, I'm uh, interested to see more. I don't know if more will get requested, but uh, there's definitely still a lot of games on the playlist that I uh, I remember quite fondly so uh i guess we'll see anyway hope you liked the reaction let me know if you did and see you in the next one